Hey, good morning, everyone. Um, back again as we get ready started uh, with another three minutes with God. Um, I'm going to uh, do something that we don't normally do uh, today, and that is uh, to summarize uh, a section of verses um, as we uh, look to to round out uh, Isaiah <clears throat> 38. Normally we would be in verse 10 today, uh, but because of uh, what is consistent in uh, verses 10 through the rest of the chapter, I did want to take a summary of, of all of this. So I'm going to read just a couple of verses. So uh, uh, let's go ahead and start the timer. So verse 10 says, I said in the prime of my life, I shall go to the gates of Sheol. I, I am deprived of the remainder of my years. I said, I shall not see uh, the Lord in the land of the living. I shall observe man no more among the inhabitants of the world. My lifespan is gone, taken from me like a shepherd's tent. I have cut off my life like a weaver. He cuts me off from the loom from day until night. You make uh, an end of me. And now we'll drop down uh, to verse uh, 18. And it says, For Sheol cannot thank you, death cannot praise you, those who go down to the pit cannot hope in you for your truth. The living, the living man, he shall praise you as I do this day. The Father shall make known your truth to the children. The Lord was ready to save me, therefore he will sing my songs with string instruments all the days of our life. Uh, in the house of the Lord. And um, basically what's going on here is as Hezekiah has uh, received word from God that he was going to heal him, then he saw the sign from God uh, that God made the sun go backwards 10 degrees. Um, and this is just Hezekiah's um next thoughts and his praise and he goes from being depressed because he he felt like that uh, God was just going to you know just end his life and he wasn't blaming God he was just it was just one of those things as he was he was sad and he was just having a moment um, and he was like I say he was depressed and he began to just write down and, and expressing how he felt but if you notice at the beginning, he was depressed, but then at the end of it, his depression turned to praise and worship. Uh, and that is how uh, a, a, a good um, idea of how we should uh, look and, and view God and how God can turn uh, doom and gloom to a testimony and and. I'm not saying that God will miraculously heal you like he did with uh, Hezekiah that, you know, uh, or anything like that. But at the same time, that if we do look closely at our lives, that we can find something to be thankful for and to be and to praise God for. Hey, we may not uh, we may not stay in a, a 10,000 square foot home, but you know what? At least we do have a, a roof over our head. We may not have the finest clothes, but, you know, at least we do have something to cover us. And we may not be the finest food. But hey, at least we do have food to eat. And and it's just one of those things that, it's like I said, if we look hard enough, we can find something to thank God for and to praise God for. Uh, we may not have what everyone else has. or may not be the nicest things, but we can always give thanks to God that uh, we do have what we have and know uh, that it could be a whole lot worse. And so uh, as we close today, I would leave you with this, is that just know that God can turn disaster into praise and he can turn uh, what seems to be total failure into total praise. So God bless you and have a great day.